this melanoma. Today we will talk about the causes of polyhydramnios, which means increased amount of amniotic fluid around the baby. Before discussing the causes, let us define in a technical way what is meant by polyhydramnios. Polyhydramnios affects 1-2% to 2 of pregnancies and it is defined as the maximum vertical pool of more than 8 cm, amniotic fluid index of more than 25 cm or above the 95th centile for gestational age. Let us discuss the classification. First of all, the mild type in which the maximum vertical pool is 8 to 12 cm, AFR is more than 24 cm and less than 30 cm. In moderate polyhydramnios, the maximum vertical pool is 12 to 15 cm, AFR is 30 cm and less than 35 cm. And in the severe polyhydramnios, the maximum vertical pool is more than 15 cm, the AFR is more than 35 cm. Now, what are the causes of polyhydramnios? The causes include certain maternal conditions. Secondly, the placental causes. Thirdly, certain structural disorders, certain neuromuscular causes, the fetal causes, the genetic disorders, the cardiac failure, and infectious causes, and in the end, certain idiopathic causes as well. What are the maternal causes of polyhydramnios? Those include uncontrolled diabetes mellitus. Secondly, rhesus and other blood group isoimmunization. Thirdly, exposure to medications such as lithium, which leads to fetal diabetes insipidus. The placental causes of polyhydramnios include placental tumors such as chorioangioma. Here you can see placental chorioangioma in both of these pictures. What are the fetal causes of polyhydramnios? Those include first of all TTTS, twin to twin transfusion syndrome, in which there is increased amniotic fluid in the recipient twin and decreased amniotic fluid in the donor twin. Another cause is that of the Barter syndrome. Barter syndrome is a rare autosomal recessive renal tubular disorder. The defective chloride transport in the loop of Hanel leads to fetal polyuria resulting in severe hydramnios and premature delivery. What are the structural causes of polyhydramnios? Those include tracheal atresia. Secondly, duodenal and esophageal atresia. Thirdly, mediastinal and thoracic mass. Fourthly, the diaphragmatic hernia. What are the neuromuscular causes of polyhydramnios? Those include, first of all, anencephaly, muscular dystrophy, and fetal akinesia. The genetic causes include the chromosomal anomalies like trisomy 13, 18, and 21, the non-immune hydrops. Cardiac failure can also cause polyhydramnios, and the conditions causing cardiac failure include sacrococcygeal teratoma, vein of gallon aneurysm, fetal anemia, maternal alloimmunization, G6PD deficiency, alpha thalassemia, fetomaternal hemorrhage. Let us talk about the infectious causes of polyhydramnios, which include, first of all, congenital syphilis, secondly, viral hepatitis. And last come the idiopathic cause, means no other cause is identified. So here we have a complete list of the causes of polyhydramnios. First is that of the maternal causes, which include the uncontrolled diabetes mellitus. Secondly, rhesus and other blood group isoimmunization. Thirdly, exposure to medications such as lithium, which leads to fetal diabetes insipidus. And the placental causes include tumors such as the chorioangioma. The structural causes include the tracheal atresia, duodenal atresia, esophageal atresia, mediastinal mass, thoracic mass, diaphragmatic hernia. The neuromuscular causes include anencaphaly, the muscular dystrophy, fetal akinesia. The fetal causes include twin to twin transfusion syndrome and the Barter syndrome. The genetic causes include trisomy 13, 18, and 21, non immune hydrops. The cardiac failure is caused by the sacrococcygeal teratoma, vein of gallon aneurysm fetal anemia, maternal aneuromanization, G6PD deficiency, alpha thalassemia, fetal maternal hemorrhage, and all these conditions can lead to cardiac failure, which are the causes of polyhydramnios. Another cause include the infectious causes like congenital syphilis and viral hepatitis, and in the end, we have the idiopathic cause. So that brings us to the end of my presentation. 
I would like to complete it with this quote. A successful man can lay strong foundation with the stones other throw at him. So thank you so much. Wish you all the best. Allah Hafiz.